Hey gang, let's do a little uh, look at an interesting combat supply situation and then maybe this will help me verbalize whether or not I actually am doing it correctly or not. It's the 8th of March, it's the, excuse me, it's the Axis turn. And if you recall previously, we had some units here. And we got rain, by the way, rainstorms, which doubles the movement cost of everything. Nevertheless, uh, there's some supply was trucked into here, and we were able to uh, move these guys to here. Well, once I got there, I thought, well, heck, I wanted, I've got to do combat supply. In order to do uh, combat supply, uh, you know what, I am gonna, that is going to be wrong. Uh, I'm going to have to have one unit out. Let me see, here it goes. A, to get those guys in there, and B, cover for this Zoc. I was only looking at these zones of control. So what I was going to talk about was the fact that uh, this guy in strat mode has no uh, uh, combat um, value, and he has no zone of control. And nor does this artillery unit have a zone of control. So therefore, they don't affect my ability to do draw from this supply dump. And it would be two, four movement points there, and... and one hex adjacent to the dump is close enough, so we can draw supply to do our attack. Similarly here, I had to build a line here uh, for Rommel and his forces, his tank unit battalions there, to uh, be able to reach back to here. Uh, so it's pretty, uh, it's pretty interesting. Let's make sure there's no... Uh... Yeah, there's a road there, that's cool. And is there a road going up that way to that hex? Yes. Okay, so it's always uh, good to try and uh, recall what goes where and how that works. This zone of control would reach up here. One interesting thing, uh, interesting things with DAC is that these escarpments, uh, zones of control projected down but not up. Uh, and so that was causing a little bit of havoc over here and probably went through some unnecessary movement point consumption to try and stay out of Zox. Uh, for the trucks that were moving in and out. Anyway, so we're going to do a combat against this one step Australian Brigade, which yet again has got itself into trouble. It's in Mercer, now it is in a two uh, hex, two uh, step hedgehog, which is going to be pretty powerful, but it's a all or nothing kind of situation here. I don't have the movement points to be eligible to do an overrun here because uh, there's slopes all around this and that uh, makes the cost across the hex side more than three movement points so we can't uh, we can't um, jump those guys and knock them out which would be two brigades just dead which would be awesome. That's what I originally was planning on doing then I realized that, look, there's a huge supply dump here. This uh, has 20 odd or more uh, supply points, uh, SP, in it. So we're going for broke on that guy. It's, as like I said, it's rainstorm, so there will be no, um, <laughs> no air. And all of a sudden that attack's not looking very attractive <laughs> as I stand here thinking about it. All right, we'll see what happens. I'll let you know uh, if I belly up to the bar or not.